but instead of buying it himself, but instead of buying it himself, he immediately called all his classmates. He got them to fill out 20,000 tickets because his goal was to win the entire jackpot of $10 million. But it didn't go so well because after cashing in the prize, they realized that the 20,000 tickets only made $10,000. And there's only one way this could have happened, that he wasn't the only one who found a loophole in the lottery. In order to find out who the other person was, his partner took out his computer and hacked into the lottery system. Shockingly, the winnings were not shared by the same high school students, but to retired old men. In order to get more money, both sides tried their best. The college students used their connections. They got more students to participate in the game. They divided up the work clearly, and their goal was to grab more supermarkets to buy the lottery tickets. And the two old men were not to be outdone. They called all their relatives to buy lottery tickets. They even set up a company called GS Tickets. Soon the two teams were making a fortune from the lottery loophole. They thought they were going to live happily ever after.